In life and in death, we belong to God. This is how our Presbyterian brief statement of faith begins in our book of confessions. In life and in death, we belong to God. I've been struggling over the last three days how to respond to the death of so many in Florida in a school that we all believe our students go to in the morning and will be safe, that they will be okay. How do we respond to violence at the hands of a 19 year old boy, man, who lost both of his parents, who lacked community, who had no system in place from government or community or church or any of these other places to hold on to him? What do we do about all of the people that we encounter in our lives, strangers, neighbors, acquaintances, coworkers, friends, community members, family members, people in our own household? When life goes off the rails, what do we do in the midst of of a world that is sick? What do we do in a world full of people who are frail and weak and messed up? What do I do in the world with my own chaos, my own frantic mess, my own frailty, my own depravity? And I turn back to those words in that confession in life and in death, we belong to God, that we trust in one triune God, that we trust in Jesus Christ, that we trust that God is awake, alive, active in our world, that what is going on has to do with rebellion inside of my soul, inside of your soul side of all of us that we have violated the image of God in ourselves in other people that we accept lies as truth that we exploit neighbor and nature and threaten death to one another and to this planet that is entrusted to our care yet God acts with justice. God acts with mercy to redeem us in everlasting love. The God of the ages chooses us, you and me. We trust in God, the Holy Spirit, everywhere, the giver and renewer of life, who sets us free to accept ourselves binds us together, inspires us, rules over us, engages us, claims us in the waters of baptism, feeds us and calls us in a broken and fearful world. The Spirit gives us courage to pray without ceasing, to witness among all peoples to Christ as Lord and Savior, to unmask idolatries in church and in culture, to hear the voices of people long silenced, and to work with others for justice, freedom, and peace. In gratitude to God, empowered by the Spirit, we strive to serve Christ in our daily task and to live holy and joyful lives, even as we watch for God's new heaven and new earth. Plead for God's new heaven and new earth, praying, Come, Lord Jesus.